welcome back to Python scripting for ArcGIS applications, NRM 638, Spring Semester 2015. This is an e-learning class at the University of Alaska Fairbanks. In this session, we're going to start working with Python toolboxes. So if you go to a folder, right mouse click and go New, and instead of a script tool toolbox, choose Python toolbox. And that will be a file that will have an extension .pyt, and then you can name this whatever you want to name it. So let's name it test toolbox. And that will be one file on the hard drive, and it'll be in our folder week 12 Python toolboxes. So let's look at it in Windows Explorer. So here it is in Windows Explorer, and the extension is PYT. So the first thing we're going to have to do is in ArcGIS specify what editor is going to be used when we right mouse click and edit this Python toolbox, which is a Python script. So if you go to Geoprocessing Options, right here under Editor, we need to browse to where the ID LE editor is located. So that would be in C Python 2.7, ArcGIS 2, lib, and then the IDLE lib, and then the name of our editor is IDLE PYW, the name of the editor that we're going to use. And then we can edit. So right mouse click on your test toolbox and then edit it. So then basically what we have is our Python script and it's simply a bunch of classes. And we're going to work with the class toolbox and the class tool in this session. So let's comment out all the other classes. So if you go to format comment out region and then let's save our script and then right mouse click and check for syntax do we have any errors there's no errors right now so we'll go back and edit our toolbox so what we could do is we can set some properties that our toolbox will have so for example alias we could put a string here and then a property for our label for our toolbox. And then save. And then if we go back to our test toolbox and right mouse click and go to properties, now we have a label and we have a alias. The name of the toolbox is the name of the file that's on your hard drive. We could right mouse click and rename it so I'll put an underscore here, test underscore toolbox. So then if we look in Windows Explorer, now the file is named test underscore toolbox dot PYT. Okay, so let's go back and edit our toolbox and we'll change some of the tool property. So we have a class named tool. So it will have a label, so let's name that tool label. And let's name that tool label buffer points. And then we'll give it a description, so whatever you want your description to be. And we'll give our tool class some name. So let's call this class buffer PTS. Okay, so since our tool is buffer PTS, we need to have in our toolbox, we'll copy this the same name. So here's going to be the list of the classes that are in our toolbox. So all the tools in our toolbox. So we'd have to have the same name. So we've got a toolbox containing tools and this line specifies what tools are in our toolbox. And then this will create a tool from the class buffer PTS. So then we'll go save. So now we have a tool, its label is buffer points, tool buffer points. And if we look at the properties, its name is buffer PTS. And it's got a label and it's got a description. 
Okay, so if we double click on our tool, you get a message, this tool has no parameters. So that's what we're gonna do in our next video session is work with parameters in Python toolbox tools.